Hello, 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 and welcome back to the right part. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Shaun the Sheep, the movie, the sequel, Farmageddon. Now, this review is unscripted, unlike my Rise of Skywalker review. It's going to be like podcast style, like conversational. Uh, let me know if you like this style more. The reason why I'm not scripting this one is because I, I really don't have that much to say about Shaun the Sheep Farmageddon, so I didn't feel the need to write a script for this one. Um, overall, I'm just gonna first I'm gonna start off telling you my grade for this movie. It's a it's a B minus. It's a it's a very fun time. It's probably one of the more entertaining movies I've seen this year. But felt yeah felt was a bit overdone. Let's let's first talk about the comedy. The the comedy is is quite smart. Like kids will get it, but there's also some jokes and references for for more mature audiences. Uh, during the climax, there was some pretty ingenious wordplay, and mind spoiler, they do use the two thousand one space odyssey theme like quite a bit, and uh, the gag kind of fell flat on the face. I I thought it's a big missed opportunity. Um, there there was one joke about a toaster with the two thousand one theme that felt work, but other than that, it felt like they were trying to, uh, they were just trying to cram another reference in for the adults. The the reference that I like the most actually is the one I like the least. I'm first going to talk about my least favorite reference was was the X Files theme song. That was completely redundant and it was so dumb. Stupid and and childish. They they just shouldn't have done the the X Files joke. Um, my my fa- my favorite joke, my favorite gag, isn't actually a reference to another movie. It's um some wordplay about ball in the china shop. In the movie, there's just this china shop that gets routinely demolished, and it's it's a running gag, and it's it's really really funny. Okay. So overall, some some jokes landed, some jokes didn't. It's, it's kind of like Seinfeld, like when the jokes don't land, they're terrible. But when they do, it's a it's a home run. But my biggest gripe with this movie is the villain. Like it's a it's a cartoon, so I still expect them to go in with these evil government. I'm one hundred percent raw money aliens. Let's 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 kill aliens, a villain, but. They they tried to give her a sympathetic backstory and humanize her in the climax. That was completely wasted. She was so overdone, and the whole sympathy side was just felt very cliched and uh, tacked on. I I, I would prefer if she's just a a one note character because that kind of fits the Shaun the Sheep odd man no theme. The the character the animation is is fantastic as usual, but the problem when they try to add some CGI into this claymation stop motion style, it feels very it's very obvious when it's CGI, especially when they have these like purple alien clouds things. Yeah, that that was that was really kind of sloppy. Uh, the farmer goes has some very very funny hijinks, which involve money. So I I like I love money jokes and there's a couple really good money jokes in here. Other than that, the the alien, the the rabbit alien, it's an interesting design. It's unconventional. They try to pull some big emotions between the the alien missing his parents, and and the alien uh not wanting to separate with Sean the sheep in the end. Uh, I I heard from a friend who who has like a five year old girl. That that she cried, but honestly, when they were separating, like they were doing the ET separation thing, I was just laughing. It, it the emotion was was very. It felt cheap, and it wasn't honest. And they they could have definitely done better, or they could have just leaned one hundred percent into the fun. So, I I I felt the emotions in this movie were a bit cheap. Overall, overall, it's a fun time. Good jokes. Uh, the characters could have definitely been improved, but I I. It it was the most fun movie I've watched the entire year. So get a B plus. Watch it if you, if you have time. If you don't, just you know stay home and watch The Irishman or Marriage Story on Netflix. 
that's my review for Sunday Sheep Farm again. Hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.